Ah, power outage. I wondered where you had just poofed off to. Lost belt. Um, we'll bring you, and we'll switch back to Mito. Burrito. Okay, um... Anastasia's, um... Yes, Infinity, I did watch that episode you sent me. I didn't particularly care of, care of it, though, so, you know, I'm not gonna watch the rest of it. But Anastasia is... Okay, I'm sure you know of how Russia was the Soviet Union, and before that, it was Russia. Anastasia is the daughter of the last ruler of Russia before Russia became the Soviet Union. Her and her family were driven into hiding out in the wilds where her and her family were killed. There is a Disney movie based around if she survived, I want to say, but that's kind of the extent. I remember there's more to it. I'm honestly not the best teller of this, but she is a famous Russian figure that has a little bit of a, you know mystery to her. And I know who Kadok is. If I may, Senpai. Kadok and Lucas is a member of Team A. He possesses an exemplary attitude for, attitude for race shifting, and I believe... Don't bother. I don't care if he remembers me or not. Besides, we may already told you who we are. I'm one of the seven cryptos and we help bring about the end of the world. That should be enough for you. Wait, please. Uh, does that mean you and Kristaria... And everyone else on Team A really are really. You sure, talk, you sure talk a lot more now, don't you? Back then you just parroted whatever anyone told you. But that doesn't matter. Stand off this Kyrolite. You are nothing more than a tool for us. A device you plan on bringing along to help us summon servants after we ray shifted. We never cared about your opinions. You were just supposed to keep your mouth shut and help us out however we. Okay. I don't care. Okay. It's official now. Anastasia goes to Rite of Conquest when I kick Kadok's ass because he is insulting Mashu. So Kadok is going to catch these hands. Kadok is catching these hands. So don't bother worrying about infringing on our rights or what we like as people. We never bother to do that for you after all. That's, that's not... No, that doesn't matter at all anymore. You're, now you're an enemy of Chaldea, aren't you, Kadok? That's right. I'm glad you're not a complete idiot. That saves a lot of time. We've already made our declaration of war. Our goal is to grow our lost belts and bring an end to proper human history. I guess we've already pretty much taken care of that last bit. Lost belt. Is that what singularity is called? No, singularity is just an important time. This is a belt. A point where everything changed in this world happened long ago. And now it has its own history. It sucks, but there's no more rock music anymore. But the demon beast house can get pretty close. Yeah, why are you doing this? I don't have to tell you shit. But I guess we can talk a bit before I kill you. Oh, Mashu can protect herself. But, you know, it's not pr about protecting protecting Mashu here. It's about um, maintaining her dignity. And Kadok here. Oh, he is insulting her hard. So she he's getting the beat down. Tell me, soul, why didn't you die instead of us? Huh? Yeah, that's not a good thing to respond about. I guess there's a lot to ask. We all know what you achieved. God, it freaking sucked to have to be the one of the first things we heard about after we woke up. I know that we know. I can say with total certainty. If it had been me, or even better, anyone else in the teammate, especially would have been. I bet they'd have been way fewer dead. I wouldn't have had to take a whole damn year either. Okay, First you insult Mash, now you're insulting my competence? Kadok, you are going down hard. And Infinity, if you feel like you need to sleep now, then feel free to sleep now. And Wobbuffet, please describe to me Cha-Cha Alter. Yeah, it just happened and I was the best choice. Exactly, you just happened to be there, so you just happened to get chosen. And thanks to that, a ton of people died in the incineration of humanity. Congratulations! You acted with the highest casualty count imaginable. That's enough, Kadok. Remember, I'm still a servant now. I'm not about to let you insult my master, no matter what the circumstance. You can't fool me, Kyrolite. 
Don't tell me the thought never crossed your mind. Everyone on Team A was chosen for a reason. What am I? Ophelia, Pepe, David. Any one of them would have done a better job than... Soul there, and you know it. You may be right, but there's no point in thinking about it now. The fact is, none of you were there. We did all we all did the best we could under the circumstances. We didn't have time to consider the hypotheticals during the year, to go for the restoration of humanity. But I can tell you that there's one thing I'm certain of after what you've said, Kadak. Oh, what's that? I would never have loved to see how things turned out if anyone from Team A had been the one to handle it. If it wasn't for Master Soul, I wouldn't be here right now. Well, I guess you got me there. Any one of us would have probably abandoned you with this, without a second thought at some point. Oh, Kadak, you are just digging your grave here, man. Oh, Kadak, I'm going to slaughter you, and I'm going to make Anastasia one of my waifus, and I'm going to make her one of my waifus in front of your eyes before I deal the finishing blow. So if you're in charge of Rush, Kadak, I have to get all the others that are in charge of these other Lost Belts. That's right. Not that no one's that's going to do you much good. Yeah, why did you destroy the world, then? We're not destroying the world. All we're destroying is probably human history. But again, we're all going to pit our lost belts against each other, too, so I guess those will be going away as well. By the way, who are those servants you got with you? I don't feel any particular obligation to divulge my identity to a small child of an enemy such as yourself. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. So, Chacha Alter is, is powerful, but bossy, tall, cute, and likes head pats. But how can I pat the head if she is tall, for I am short? Sheesh, same here. Not that I'm expecting to fool anyone. Well, whatever. Never is to be cautious, but I'll be getting rid of you all anyway. Operinchki, kill them. Nice for the Operinchki are about to attack. Please prepare for battle. Let's do this. I'm short, though. I'm only 5'4", so... <laughs> A lot of servants are taller than me. In fact, hang on. I want to verify something here. Uh, just because I know that this one is tall, but hang on. Uh, that, uh, 152 centimeters. 152 cm feet. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Medusa's taller than me. That much is certain, but other servants that are shorties are thankfully not. Whew, that's early. 6-1 here, you're taller than me, that's not too surprising. Like I said, I am short, short, short. Actually, I may be short, but I have a big personality. And a big brain. Yeah, I went there. That's not the size of my- I drink milk! That's what I drink every morning as a tall cup of milk. Because milk is delicious. It's magically delicious, in fact. No, I'm saying that despite the fact that I'm short, I am both smart and have a tall person- and have a big personality. You know? I would never insult you guys unless we were in a playful insulting contest or something like that. Which would be a very weird contest, I suppose. But I would never insult anybody unless I'm joking around. Never, ever, ever. And five. I didn't insult you, Waba Fett. I did not. Lies and slander against me. Somebody is spreading false rumors and accusations about me. I will not sit for this. Wait, I am sitting. Darn, they beat me. But now, like I said, I would never seriously insult anybody unless they absolutely deserve it or we're having like what's the word for it I know there's a word for it um, 
I just can't remember what it's called. Uh, diss track. Yeah, I guess a diss track would be another situation where I might insult somebody, but... I mean, can you imagine me trying to rap and do a diss track? Like, that's just... that's a laughable thought, let's be honest here. I, there's no way I could pull off a diss track. Nicely done, Nito Burrito. Nicely done. Had an out now, if it any. Alright, man. Get some sleep, dude. You need to rest. You need to let your brain re energize itself. So get a long good night's sleep, Infinity, and I will see you in Wednesday's stream. Thanks for stopping by. No, no, Infinity, no. At least eight hours. You hear me, man? You better get at least eight hours of sleep. Or else. Ten. Take it or leave it. Uh, if it will, if there is no support servants, then yes. If there is, though, again, I kind of want to stick with support servants first, like story-based supports, you know, just because story appropriate. Six final draw. Hmm. Seven, and I will praise Salter for a minute. Kabbalist, are you Solomon Ibn Gabriel, aka Abbas Bron, the Golem Master? I suppose using so many golems does make it obvious, even with the mask. You are indeed correct. Oh, I need to bother asking about you. Well, I can't tell if you're Billy the Kid or Buffalo Bill, but that really doesn't matter much. Well, doesn't it? Um, Billy, I ain't gonna tell of being confused for no prayer, lover. You slept four hours yesterday? Wow, well, fat. why do people not sleep? Especially when you don't have to work or anything. Gah! Anyway, this works out nicely. You got your servants and I've got mine. Let's find out which of them is stronger. Caster! Oh no. So we're coming out all this way then, Master. I hate letting wild cards run around. So yeah, I feel a lot better now. So we'll destroy Caldea. And she was a servant who hails from this version of Russia. I knew it. Have a spoon. Seems like you'll be rather useful. Such a way to change out your contract. I mean, I could do that, but... Alright, it might not be the easiest fight for you. But I'm sure you can pull this off. Oh yes, that much is certain. Bow down before the glory of the Tsar fiends of proper human history. My name is Anastasia. I am the daughter of this land's undying dynasty, now and forevermore. I knew it. You're the Grand Duchess Anastasia of the Romanov dynasty. Oh, it's possible. You're a tragic figure, not a valiant one. Nothing you did should have let you become a horror spirit. Yes, you're right. I have no public terrors of healerism to my name, nor any stories of royalty gone mad. But I do have thee. I am a servant of this lost belt, and as such I shall eliminate you all. Come be, let us kill them together. Hear my command and obey. You are to become sculptures of snow and ice, writhing in agony in this world of permafrost for all eternity. Oh, I'm sure they do. And, uh, praising all of the good traits of Salter Infinity. That would be what the minute is. Me praising Salter's good traits. Three assassins, that means the next wave is likely solo Anastasia. Right. Good. So you'll be getting eight hours of sleep then. Glad to hear that. Yes, go ahead and get some sleep now, man. 
get some sleep now. And in the next stream, I will do the singing of Salter's praises as promised. I had to try, you know? I had to try. When will they add the White Death as a servant? Um, I'm not sure, but that is a very popular fan servant there, Wabafet. A lot of people do want the White Death to be made as one. And I know... I haven't read it because I'm trying to avoid spoilers. But on the FGO subreddit, somebody is making like a small comic series detailing what if the White Death was in Anastasia. Again, I haven't looked at any of it, but you know... It might be something you want to check out, just as their interpretation, you know? Okay, since when do these guys have the Kamehameha wave? Or a weird similar thing, I suppose. And Frank Ruler or Caster. Mm. And Frank would be a tricky one, I would say. I mean, honestly, she can't be ruler because ruler class servants have to want slash. Normal human history. Do, what was that? Okay. Gimir, wait, what? Did he just use a command seal? What? What did he just do? What did Kadok just do there? Speed up accelerated course that gave her. Increase charge for, by two for each turn, unremovable three turns. That could be dangerous. Um, however, we have Melt. He has a command seal. I have a Melt. So, yeah. Um, I was about to go off on a tangent, but I don't remember what that tangent was. So I do apologize. Melt should be set here. All the buffs. All the melt. Good. Two 200% shots. Let's go, melt. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Cheer with melt. Let's go, melt. Let's go. I mean, maybe not. She very well might not have a wish for the Grail, but, like, given what she's been through, you know, again, she's long since passed, but it wouldn't surprise me that if she was a servant that she would wish for the whole holocaust not to happen. And I kicked your butt, Anastasia. <clears throat> Excuse me, some of the water went down the wrong pipe there. <coughs> and Sherlock is a ruler for a very specific reason. Um, <coughs> the, the Throne of Heroes would not allow Sherlock to be a caster-class servant. Because if Sherlock was a caster-class servant... His ability to solve mysteries would become so great that he would literally solve the mystery behind every bit of Magecraft and cause Magecraft itself, aka magic, to stop working. Ugh. Vi, 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 let your gaze unfurl even more. Let your wicked eye expose the truth behind all things. Mr. Guys, so that demonic beast is what been turning my golems dust in an instant. How rude. Vi is no demonic beast. He's my most trusted elemental. He has been an ally to the Romanov destiny for, dynasty for generations. That doesn't make him any less of a monster. I suppose I was a bit lit like with the anti-mystic eye strategy. Meditation look out. Soleri's woken up. Hmm? Cursed dogs of the Tsar. Vi! Hold my noble phantasm. Our Lord in heaven, have pity on me. Dio Santismo Misericordia de me. Why, why, why? This is. It's gonna hit us to run! 
Well, it seems Larry's noble phantasm activates without regard for friend or foe. Unfortunately for him, it has also resulted in his defeat. Ugh. Oh my, he suddenly startled me. I must be the only member of the Romanov dynasty who's ever been attacked from above by the court musician. Not that it matters now. You, how dare you brainwash me, twist me into doing your dirty work. You're not decided to twist you into anything. All I did was put you to work in an effective way. Anyway, I can't have you running around on your own anymore, no matter how weak you might be. Anastasia, crush his legs. Not you. Columns, activate. Mine hand is the spear of azure ice. Chez Sephiroth. Did he just turn snow into golems? Hey, he followed my advice! Woohoo! I'll answer that in a minute, Wabu. Anastasia. <laughs> Since when do masters go around shielding their servants? Since the very beginning, Anastasia, get up with the times here. It's no big deal. I just did it because I thought I could. Then I was right. Neither of us is hurt, are we? Kadok. Very well, then I believe it is our cue to escape. Ugh. I trust we'll be taking him with us. I read my mind, man. Read my mind. Let's see. So this is what it means for one's master to drop off on you. I will have to bear this in mind for the future reference. Follow them. Understood. Would it be any consolation if I said we were at least for the worst possible outcome? I suppose. It would have been best if we crushed them here. And, but I don't, we don't have that priest or, or enough opportunity key to make that happen. If we can take them all together, so much the better. Besides, thanks to you, I've got an idea. What is it? If it works, it might just be what we need to bring down the big mountain once for all. I see. I thought a plan like that would take a little longer to come to fruition. It all depends on how well we can negotiate. I can offer him something he wants, he's bound to give in. That's the sort of servant he is. Alright, then. Let's start spreading the Tsar's glory to this part of the frontier. Operanchki, this place is harboring traitorous rebels. I take it you know what to do now. Yes, everything shall burn. Everyone shall die. That's right. You're all to crush this town with your own hands. That must have been what they were like back when they were all alive too. Just like the ones who killed me. Give that to yourself, Anastasia. Or you'll end up disrespecting the Tsar. Master, don't you preach about to me about disrespect? Right, sorry about that. Anyway, they should be down at the palace at this point. That's true, we should hurry back then. The Tsar must be looking for me by now, even if he still isn't fully awakened. Hey, Velvet's cheering, woohoo! Uh, but if I had the Grail, and if it was a wish that had absolutely no consequences, I'm not going to lie, I would wish for the power of the gamer.